Let me tell you about the man I met when I was still young. In 2029, we discovered a top secret document left by a long dead military regime. It detailed an unrealized weapons program known as Project Albatross. Learning of this, the power hungry commander of the Imperial Army, Generalissimo Kilt, stole the plans and decided to execute the project himself. This is his O face. Federation's top agent, Joseph Gibson, Super Joe, was sent in to put a stop to his plans, but all contact with him was lost. One man has been ordered to infiltrate the Imperial territory and rescue Super Joe. This is where our story begins. I'm just gonna let that music ride for a second. I'm probably gonna get VOD muted, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Not for that. Welcome one and all, Navigator EX here. And good God, I love this game and for no other reason than it's music. Bionic Commando Rearmed. Oh my God. So yeah, I've actually played and beaten this game, but once before, you wouldn't know it by my achievements, so I only have one achievement for this damn game. Remake of an old NES title which I only found out recently was a sequel to an arcade title. And by recently, I mean the last Castle Super Beast. When I believe Pat mentioned it because he didn't know either. <laughs> so, ah, oh boy, the things you miss, you know. 2008 remake of a classic game. Come on. I have no hard drive space. I downloaded too much shit to this thing. Ah. Uh, I love that. I love the menus. Ah, uh, this game's just built for goodness. Okay. Uh, burr, burr, burr. Let's check those options real quick. We'll get in there. Uh, settings. Uh, not a whole lot in the settings. Okay, just a quick peek at the... Oh, yeah, the peak of Spencer's career. Welcome there. No third impact, please. Um... Look at it this way, at least it's not that other BC game. You know, the one that's like the Ninja Theory Bionic Commando of Bionic Commandos. Okay, well we got... It could... It could be worse. I have... Not gonna lie, I've been itching to play that one though too. Uh, let's see... Oh, wake up, wake up. Let's see... Triangle for real. Circle arm. Grenades, fire... Oh god, I forgot this game doesn't even have a jump. Ah, uh, I forgot this game, because of its point, does not have a jump. Okay. Let's uh, duck back out of this menu real quick. Can't stay for too terribly long. Alrighty. Well, here's hoping your catch-up work goes smoothly. I'm going to be... Kind of nerding out on this one. I, I still kind of feel guilty though for ducking out on um, Odd World, but I kind of want to give that game another spin in the future. But when I do, I'm going new and tasty. Um, it has been going good here. Um, weather's kind of opening up real nice. Uh, work's going smoothly. One boss who's a douche is burning out, while another boss who's awesome is stepping up and. Uh, all is well in the world so far. Nice and nice and smooth runnings all around. It's like I want to say cool runnings, but it's not cold anymore, and I have no other excuse to see that movie. So <laughs> here's hoping it's going good on your end as well. Getting out before dark to pick up after your dogs. Ah, life's been good to me so far. Yeah, Dee Dee's okay. Uh, she's, oh, she's taken to trying to follow myself and my brother to work, though. She's developed a bad habit there. She really likes being with my brother and myself and her being an outside cat. It's like, 
I have to distract her with something like food or something and run for it. <laughs> it's like, here, here you go, kid, and have, have a little bite to eat. It's like, Jason, whoosh. It's like this morning alone. I'm going to work. I stop. I pull out my phone so I can listen to a podcast. And I reach down to pick up my headphones, pick out out of the pocket. And I notice by my right ankle, this black spot in the dark. I'm like, son of a... Jesus, Dee Dee! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Love that cat. I'm 150 feet away from my house. I stop and she's just right there. Uh, it's a little... It's a little... <laughs> It's a little worrying, but it's also a little bit adorable. Uh, I got a PS1 emulator working on your PC. Alrighty. Ooh, and solid backups. Ah, oh, man, that's something I'm actually kind of considering getting into on my PS2. I hear, I hear mixed things about backing them up to USB, like load times in particular. Yeah, good backups, though. They can take you a long way in emulation. Hell yeah. And PS4 controller to work with your emulator. That D-pad, it really is that good. It's like, mmm, you enjoy that. As a matter of fact, I might take notes on that one. I revisit Armored Core 1. I might have to give that a spin. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up to the normal layout, whoop. And uh, I think it's about time to get this show on the road for a second. Ah, oh shoot, not continue. <laughs> not continue. New game. Oh boy, basic tutorial. It's like, I kind of want to. I really kind of want to, but nah. <laughs> This will erase old progress. Yeah. Oh, I love that pixelation. Oh man, that D-pad though on the PS4. You you making me really craving picking up that controller. One moment, I'm gonna reach across. I'm gonna grab that controller. Oh. Ah. That is a nice D-pad. Nice. Slightly concave with a little dip in the middle. Smooth flat buttons. As opposed to this mushy shit teeter totter 360 controller. <laughs> uh, I've got the official wireless controller I'm using for this game right now. Ah, the emulation exception rule. Hmm, I, I definitely understand that one. That one brings to mind Metal Wolf Chaos before Devolver Digital. De De Devolver Digital. Blah, blah, blah and other similar pricey titles. Mmm. And the delayed purchase one, that's a rule that I've I've used before. I'm not ashamed to admit. Um it it's um I've always been a little impatient about getting some of those good games. And then I go and I play them, I poke around a minute, and then getting that physical copy in your hand. It's like, I don't even think playing them in advance takes away from that feeling of actually getting a physical copy. That is good. That is good stuff. Alrighty. Oh boy, medium. Okay, what are we looking at? So easy, what's the difference here? Infinite lives, you die from falling, you respawn on solid ground on both. You can reel out by pressing Y, and you won't disconnect as easily when you hit a wall. Health blocks will help you on the way on easy. Oh, I kind of want to. I'm obviously not doing hard or super hard. I'm not going to die. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Okay. Ooh, man. That is, that is, that is spicy. Oh, man. Emulation, though, it opens up a lot of options. And what we got here? Captain, do you read me? Here are your mission objectives. Also, I love this art. I need to look up who did the art for this. Because it has that same smooth skin texture look. 
of uh, the dude who does all the SNK artwork or did all the SNK artwork at, at the time, I believe. Our first priority is to find and rescue Super Joe. We don't know where the Imperials are keeping him captive, so we have to intercept their communications and track down his whereabouts. Your secondary objective is to slow down the Imperial advance by causing any disruption you can at their installations. The pilot, Haley, will transport you and keep track of your progress in the mission log. Now, proceed into the war zone, tread carefully, and make us proud, son. Over and out. Oh, God. So much throwbacks, shenanigans. Welcome on board, Captain. I'm Haley. I'll be your pilot for this mission. I'll keep the comm line open at all times. Just give me a holler if you're in trouble, and I'll get you to safety. Good to hear, Haley. So, who did you make mad to end up with this duty? Huh. Don't let my looks fool you, Captain. This cow has more stones than any other pilot in the force. I'm getting to that bingus bit. Good. Then let's get this mission in the air. Yes, sir. There's a tutorial in Area 00. Just let me know if you want to land there or if you want to proceed straight into the battle zone. They are really pushing me to that tutorial. Let's see. Blood Omen 1 ran to a bug... Where the UI disappears in a bit of gameplay. Unless you hit one of your F keys. Okay. Hmm. I don't... The Bengus thing. Why is that so familiar? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. UI disappears. Um. Trying to think about the... Uh... Oh, on the emulator. Wow. I am not switching mindsets very well um some emulators have like a like um hot key for um for smoothing like filters and such so that that might be a thing uh i don't know how that would take your ui away unless it's like a resolution toggle and that's a whole different thing uh hmm that has me curious I might have to do some research. Okay. You know what? I haven't played this game, <laughs> I want to say, in 13 years. I, I put it on medium. I might as well do the tutorial. Bengus. Damn it. That's going to drive me insane. Why does my memory have to suck today? Oh, my God. At this guy's attire. He's... That, that orange square hair and his clothes almost looking like a friggin' jumpsuit. It's like, just came out of a retirement community in Florida. It's like, okay. What we got? Okay. Okay. Have to get used to that grappling goodness. Okay. This is gonna take a minute. Oh, here we go. Okay, basic tutorial. Uh, I feel like a jerk for doing the tutorial. <laughs> uh, is that where my mind is now? Okay. Center blue block. block. Okay. Straight above, hold up. Okay. So, okay. So, I was that wasn't like the main thing I was wondering. Whether I should... Um, be, whether I had to be neutral to get diagonals. Okay, because I held forward and he's going forward. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, Guilty Gear's got me in a little bit of a fighting game uh, vernacular mood. I need, I do need to look up some terms. I'm not quite as deep into the terminology as I, I feel I should be. Uh... So I'm sitting here talking about neutrals here. Okay, standing white. Platform, shoot up. Yeah, okay. B once again to retract. Okay, game, I can I can figure out here for that out from here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that was Okay. Can I go down here? 
descend or, or okay so that's just a start over thing okay darn it okay so skip that part all right oh pcsx2 oh that's a good one um um okay see so stand on the edge bionic arm out to Okay, let's see how this goes. And, okay. Let's see, PC, GSDX. Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot they use some of the same plugins. <laughs> well, okay. Eh. Well, I don't know if they use the plugins, but they have similar things. Okay, Blood Omen 1. Okay. Because PCSX2 is really, really well uh, known and well read uh, software, so that's that's you should be able to get plenty of help in Discord for that one. Okay, come on, game. Whoop, and up, and nothing up here of import. Nah, I'm gonna let that go because it has a loop around thing. Oh man. Let's see, Blood Omen one. Okay, Bengus. Oh, damn, wow, yeah. Okay, I missed context for that so bad. Okay, yeah, that does sound right. Um, Street Fighter? Uh, I don't know about Street Fighter. The guy I'm thinking of does art for SNK. Street Fighter being a Capcom franchise, they they had a lot of similar art in the, uh, in, uh, the Versus titles, so, um, Hmm. It's like now I want to look that up. Ugh. Cause I I became mostly aware of the uh artwork during the uh versus series and uh Capcom versus SNK. So that name Bingus though, it is really familiar and I wanna Oh, I wanna Google that after the stream. I wanna look that guy up. Okay, tutorial. Okay, no more challenge room shit. Done. We're done. Okay. Up. Okay. Time to learn. Get a little better feel for this. Oh. Ah. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I just lost chat for a moment because for some reason VLC enlarged on my phone. Oh, the hell. Okay, there we go. We're back. Art for the Capcom versus SNK games. Yeah. Okay, what is this missile? Oh, what are you? Neat! I have no idea what that is. Okay, and... Saving content. Oh, man. I have a little bit of experience with PCSX2. Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm knowledgeable on it. I wish I could offer help on, in that regard, but uh, I've uh, poked around on it a bit myself with curiosity on how certain games play on uh, on various PCs. On my old... On my last desktop, on my current desktop, my laptop, I usually like to poke around and like see if I can get Armored Core running. The Armored Core games, I will say... It's fun to see them in in higher resolution with clearer detail, but they are notoriously rough on CPU usage. So if you play any of those on PC, if you like pop your discs in or make backups as accordingly, be warned those ones like to choke CPUs. I think this is especially true of Nexus and Last Raven. Worth it. Ah, uh, yeah! Airdrop. Let me use nods to the camera. You cheeky. Okay. Oh, shit. Let's see if I can... Okay. Uh... Okay. I'll know what I'm doing sooner or later. Okay, here we go. Oop. Okay. Uh... 
Uh, okay, little Donkey Kong there. Okay. <laughs> wow, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm 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 fine with this. Okay. Tutorials exist for a reason. That reason is to be ignored. <laughs> oh man. I'm not gonna lie, back in the day, I think uh, 2008, when this game first came out, half the reason I bought this game was just because of the music. Okay. Ah, whoa, this D pad. Okay, here we go. They also said to cause trouble in the enemy network, so let's see what we got. Hacking mini games. Okay, remember how this works exactly. I want to say it drops into the screen. Okay. Down. Oh. And yeah. All right. Love hacking mini games. They always have some weird creative take on it. It's nice that it's not the connecting the the wires one this time too sir here's the uh, the status report you requested on the d1 beetle apparently it has only one shield plate protecting either the top or the bottom of the hull regardless i think it's safe to say that the d1 beetle is pretty much impregnable why is that private well the flight control system can't be damaged by ordinary gunfire only a severely violent impact could do any damage i don't know why the hell i go straight to this voice for soldiers it's gi joe instinct that's reassuring. <laughs> I don't know. It's the kind of shit I did when I was a kid. Always have the same voice for all your G.I. Joes. Okay. Up. Okay. Uh. Whoosh. Uh, let's see if I can descend this guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> that worked well. Uh, swing! Boop! Okay. Ah, this D-pad. Okay, let's try using the stick. I'm not really accustomed to the stick, but we'll find out. Okay. Okay, this just, uh... Things went off the rails. Oh, hello. Okay. I think it's safe to say this is not a stealth mission. Mm. Okay. Okay, right, okay. Ah. Like a Donkey Kong mat. Okay. Okay, up. Okay, you can you can throw low. Good, good. Okay. Hmm. Seems like we have a objective downtown then. Okay, down. Stand up. I will harm you. Okay, there we go. That works. Oh man, I know I already said it, but these posters all around of Generalissimo kilt, every time I see these, there are two things I think. One, this is M. Bison. And two, this is this man's O face. Who, who would who would willingly have this poster right here? Just damn. <laughs> uh, this is how you know this guy's got some real courage. Put the worst possible portrait up. Ah. ah, come on. Let me give me the thing. I don't even know what those do. Ah. Okay. What is? Okay. Oh man, the rag doll's there too. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta find a way to unlock that door up top. Emulating RE1 through three specifically on EPSXE. Hmm. Dolphin. Hmm. Oh, oh, right. Okay. I got it. 
Um, man, I forgot RE1 was on GameCube. Oh, okay. This guy. All right, guy. Thank you. Mm. This is definitely not a stealth mission. Being quite okay, no worries. I'm trying to remember where to go because there is a locked door and I need to unlock it. That was a broadcast thing. Okay. Contacting HQ. Okay. I'm assuming that's going to be tips. Captain Spencer, it's such an honor to work with you. I'm Agent MA1. Pleasure's all mine. So, what have you got for me? First things first, there are communication rooms like this in every Imperial base. You should try to access them all. They might hold valuable information, and once you've established contact with us from a base, we can upload access codes to your arm. That way, you can open up doors that were previously locked. Sounds good. Most Michael Bean looking dude. Hell yeah. Also, I managed to disable the network security in this facility. The alarm won't go off now, even if you fail your try. Even if you fail and you try to hack their network. Re one. Hmm. Yeah, I knew it was a version of Resident Evil One. I didn't remember if like classic Re one was. I remember there was the the one remake. You should use this opportunity to hone your your hacking skills. This might be your only chance to do so without the risk of sounding the alarm. I'll give it a shot. Good job, Agent. My pleasure. Underneath your current location, there's a cave. The entrance is close by, and I've uploaded the access code to your arm. The doors are, un are unlocked after I've acquired the access codes. Got it. Yep. Try to contact HQ frequently, at least when you enter a new area. Well, I look forward to working with you, Captain. It may one out. Guess I got new access codes. Oh, uh, man. Resident Evil 2 and 3. I seem to remember um, at least one of 2 and 3 being available on Dreamcast. And I kind of want to price check those now. <laughs> okay. Stand, you fool. Stand. Oh. Oh, man. So many different ways to play the original Resident Evil trilogy. They knew what was up. Okay. Uh, mistakes may have been made. Okay, good. And I like that. Possibly the height of the franchise. So heavily playable. They, they, Capcom knew where their money was. They knew what they were doing. Oh, I love those ragdolls. <sighs> oh, man. And when I get to playing the Resident Evil franchise, which is coming after Metal Gear Solid... That's how I want to do it. Is I want to play the old versions, not like like remake. Oh, that's not great. Uh, oh boy. Eh. I haven't even got off the first level yet, and I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> All right. And they mentioned something about a cave. Ah. Okay. RE2 and 3 are on Dreamcast. Okay. Oh, $70 range. Yeah. I want to say I looked up 3 one time. That sounds right for 3. I don't remember looking up 2. Okay. Okay, retract. And... Oh, health. People. I could go for some health. Oh! Not like that, though. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, man. This guy just... Just rushes you. That's not... Oh, man. Uh. Oh, let's see. Oh, shit. Shot in the back. Okay, up. Come on, stand, fool. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. These guys are... 
These guys are not playing around. Okay. I love these guys' uniforms, though. You know, you can tell you can tell they're totally not Nazis by how how pink they are. Oh. Okay. No, that's not the right way. Huh? Okay, sandbags. All right. Mm, up. Roll, sucker. Okay. Oh, this door is accessible now. Okay. So I guess I do have to contact HQ each area I go into. Knew I was missing a star. Oh, descending. Uh, a, little, a little faster than intended, but, you know, it's all good. Okay. Time for a little bit of exploration. Okay, can I... Yeah! Can I grab any point on the roof? Nice! <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, the uh, PCSX2. Yeah, those BIOS things. It's like the the laws on those are sketchy. So, uh, uh, I don't know what that even was that I just grabbed. So, my understanding is the only way to be a hundred percent sure you're you're legal on BIOSes is by obtaining one off of your own machine. Okay, which is a oh that that seems that seemed iffy. Uh. I've been meaning to do more looking into that because that's that's really old info. But um, let's face it, the PS2 is dead. I mean, what's Sony gonna do? They're gonna seriously kick your door in for a console that they haven't done shit with in seven years. Oh, he's got a rocket launcher. That's not good. There are many bad things going on here. Okay, that's not neighborly, sir. Oh shoot. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's one thing, though, the whole BIOS thing and region locking. That's one thing I don't miss about old school gaming is that there was a lot more region locking going on back then. And that's, I wouldn't say fallen by the wayside. Oh, but it is nice to see that there's a lot less of it in recent years. Oh, I'm assuming the PS5. Uh, five d oh, boy. Uh Nope. This guy's being a butt. Uh, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, man. Stop the repair services. What was that? Last year? It was really recent. It was, like, surprisingly recent. Okay. Okay. This guy down here is none the wiser. Hello! Bullets to the nuts! Hmm. Yeah, okay, that's backtracking. Oh, man. Uh. And it's another argument for Sony. It's like, hey, guys. You, you want that, that whole... That sweet, sweet retro gaming dollar? It's like, yeah, come on. You know you do. Give us a way to play our old shit on your new shit. It'll make people like me that much more likely to buy your new shit. <laughs> Do it! Do it, suckers! Mm. Oh, man. Oop. Oh, boy. More health. Grab that. Oh, man. I could have used that health, but hey, I'll take I'll take what I can get. Oh boy, I just signaled my intent. Mm, like a good driver. Oh, sirs, sirs. But you're next. Oh shit. Seems oh, which actually, speaking of, oh shit. Oh yeah, I need to descend. And I need to deal with this guy. Post haste. Stand up, damn it. 
Ah, uh, no, you don't. Get it. He's being a butt. Oh! Thought I could do that a little, a little more. And was he gonna do it? He's gonna do it. I didn't notice. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay. One, two. Okay. <laughs> I forgot there was no bottom there. Uh, okay. But yeah, Sony though. Um, recently, they have uh, said that they are going to discontinue like selling movies and TV stuff on. Uh, Oh, shit. PlayStation hardware. Ugh. I forgot to double check the article on which hardware, but presumably at least PS4 and probably 3. By August 31st. Up, uh, down. All right. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what those blue circle things are. Oh. Um, so yeah, they, the uh, the discontinuation of things, it's unfortunate. Um, my, my thing is, who actually, oh shit, that was, that was not bad. Do it, stand up, damn it. Okay. Did anyone actually buy media on, on PlayStation consoles? I mean... I mean, I'm sure someone did. I never did. But they're apparently citing stiff competition from streaming stuff. I'm like, yeah, sounds about right. I do think is. Oh, one moment. <laughs> Intruder alert. Okay. Oh, I thought there was going to be more dialogue than that. I do think it's funny as hell that they uh, they had uh, it only does everything as their, their system catchphrase and... Uh, well, now it now it very much does not. <laughs> not anymore. It don't. <laughs> oh boy, that's not good. Descend, damn it. Okay, how do I get up there? Oh, I see. I see. I missed this. Oh, I gotta swing up there. Okay. Hmm. Whoop. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Right. I guess I got a Donkey Kong it. Uh, how's this going to block? Is it going to block? Okay. Get closer. Okay. And catch in a moment. Ba Boom. Oh, they, that, that, okay. That didn't work. Hmm. Okay. They said that it had the thing down at the bottom. How do I get it? to do things. I've beaten this game before. So I can't be uh, I can't be totally oblivious. Come on, do it. Get up. Okay, here we go. Yeah! Hit its weak spot for massive damage. Oh shit. Time to go. Okay. Uh, turn around. There we go. Oh, it's up top, you cheeky bastard. Okay. Time to go up top. Upstairs. Whoop. All right, here we go. Turn around, turn around. Absolute defense. If only Donkey Kong had thought of that. Put it, holding the barrels while the plumber comes at him. Suck that, BB-8, or whatever the hell that thing's name was. This one's for the old Star Wars continuity. <laughs> I don't know shit. Oh, my God. Uh, rest in peace, PlayStation's function video functionality. I, I say rest in peace, but more like rest in piss. Okay, one secret. Kill count, 78. I'm not quite up to a Rambo body ac account yet. I need to... I need to fix that. Saving content. Uh... 
terrific. You've got grenades. They can be thrown over enemy cover, and if you throw them while crouching, they drop down on the platform beneath you. Climb above the enemy with your bionic arm, and use the grenades to fully enjoy the advantage of higher ground. Oh, shit, I meant to hit A. Whoops. Okay. Uh... Oh. We have a thing? Exclamation point. That tells me we have a thing. Because there's a truck there, and that suggests... Different things. I think this is the thing I actually got an achievement for on here. I <laughs> I was never an achievement hunter. Oh, no, I'm just on area four now. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Doesn't look like I have finite grenades. Okay, come on. Roll it. Okay. And oop. All right. Oh, I see red barrels. They look like background. Oh shit. And that's Okay. Okay, that is death. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, that was... That was not good. What the hell? Who, who's the who's the asshole? I'm getting hit by something. What the... Oh, there's some kind of barrier there. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be here. Uh... Let's call for extraction for a second. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be there. Uh, I don't know if there's like night vision goggles or something. Okay, where's area? I see an area two and three. Under fire from enemy forces, we have to descend and deal with them before we can proceed. Okay. Death from above. Oh, we top down. God, I forgot this. This makes me want to kind of go back and check out the NES version at some point, because, I mean, I'm sure this... It's like with Contra uh, on Super Nintendo. They had the side-scrolling segments where you die a lot, and then they had the top-down segments in Mode 7 where you die a lot, but it was in Mode 7, so it was awesome. Mind-blowing kind of shit back in the day. Oh, shit. Here we go. Uh, please tell me you can blow up those trucks. I want to say you can blow up those trucks. Yep. We gauntlet now. Grenades. Alright, here's where those grenades come in handy. Oh man, that fiery red hair on the icon. Okay. Whoop. Just hold that pose, guy. See how that helps you. Health! Ah, I can't get in the building. Well, it is of no use to me then. Oh man. That's one this is this kind of thing is one one piece of magic that a remake cannot quite capture. The the totally different uh play styles in the game, they can be so easily represented now just because of how much the medium has advanced. And it makes me almost sad that you can't really truly recapture that magic. But it helps that this game has a really dope ass soundtrack. <laughs> so and and excellent character artwork. Okay. Uh, uh, get, go. Grenades! Eat it, truck. Nobody loves you. We're gonna die friendless and alone. Uh, whoop. Yeah, I got the motorcycle. Whoosh! And welcome back. Oh, man. I kind of love those segments now. Those little top down segments. It's like, can I instigate another one before I... Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but hey. Let's do it! Let's do it! Do it! Yes! <laughs> one more. Uh, I, I cannot even imagine what this was like back on NES. Did they have these segments in NES? Also, it's the desert, so it's automatically Wild West. 
Uh, grenades! Okay, whoop. Candy Graham from Mongo. All right. How was this game received when it came out? I want to say this one got well received and uh, Rearmed 2 was a little bit less well received. Um, but the BC 2009, woo, that was, it looked mediocre. <laughs> Which obviously is my jam. Oh, shit. Um, but I, uh, I never got to play Bionic Commando Rearmed 2. This one... Oh. I remember there was a lot of buzz around it at the time. Oh. Oh, boy. These guys, they're not playing around now. Oh, shit. I can't wait till more guns? Okay. But I want to say it was getting, like, oh, eights and nines at the time. Uh, oh, God. What was the website? I was, uh... I want to say it was, uh, oh god. It began with an M. And it wasn't Metacritic. That'd be too easy. Uh. But yeah, I saw a lot of 8s and 9s for it this afternoon, as a matter of fact, while looking at box art. So yeah, it was decently well received. Uh. The other one, though, the whole revenge quest and the government makes him an offer he can't re. Yes. Just what even? It was, it was like the worst kind of product of its time, because this is still the, the 2000s. There was still some of that edgelord shit going on in, in the gaming development, so... And they had to make it a moody and gritty reboot. It's like, come on. But this one and BC Rearm 2 were throwbacks to the franchise roots. And that's that's what I'm in for. That's what I'm down for. All right. And zone two. And the sad thing is, BC 2009. It looks like another one of those games that commits that that horrible media sin, not of being bad, but of being mediocre to unmemorable. That makes me sad. It's like, at least be memorable. Like, Omicron the Nomad Soul, no one ever said that game was forgettable. It was... It was a dumpster fire full of dog shit. It was a dog shit dumpster fire. David Bowie being, like, one of the few shining stars in that whole thing. Just for being David Bowie. And then still promoting it and stuff. He had music in there, it was cool. But everything else about that game was horrible. It's like they are lucky they had Bowie. Okay. Oh god, I forgot the robot on the his arm is his wife thing. I'm like, they're <sighs> They had to know how many jokes there were. Uh oh boy. Giant robot arm. Oh god, now I have to check that out. I forget need the green access chip. Oh no. Um, that tells me I'm going to have to poke around these levels a bit. Excess chip. Green chip. Oh, I see. Something to do with where these levels are placed. Uh. Let's see, 16. Okay, I'm expecting this to do the same. Okay, guess not. So... Either I'm not supposed to be in four, or I'm supposed to get really good at dancing in the dark. So we've got construction site. Boop. Oh, man. And the worst thing is, if that arm is his wife, that, that really is going to make for some rough honeymoons. I mean, just holy shit. Okay, we can't pass that point. <laughs> oh, man. It's like all I can think of is Arliss Loveless and Wild Wild West talking about hard pumping and indefatigably stealing. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> no. 
Uh. Oh, shit. The worst part is, I don't know if this guy's left-handed or right-handed either, too, so that's gonna... That makes, that makes so many concerns. So many concerns. Oh. Uh. Ah, come on, a little closer. Okay, what is that? Hmm. Okay, these lights are gonna be a thing. Uh. Okay. And that's all the way back down. Okay. Looking for doors, I think. Oh, I seem to remember this level being like a really vertical one. Like, just, just climb. Climb until you die, and then keep climbing. Okay. Oh, man. What's his tax paperwork going to be like with his arm as, a, as, a, as his wife? I mean, single, married, filing, jointly married, file, uh, filing via big freaking arm? I don't know. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I might not be suited for this one, too. Hmm... No. Hmm, I am definitely missing something here. Because I can see where I need to go up. Okay. Oh, here we go. No, no crouching shot for you, sir. Up. Uh. Oh. It's like, how many games have a grapple mechanic, too? I mean, like this. Because I know it's a thing. It's been a thing for, like, ever. Uh, and I don't know if this is, like, the first or what. I kind of doubt it, what with Pitfall being a thing that exists. But, you know, well, I don't know if Pitfall counts. But, grapple mechanics. Back to back on that, I suppose. Um, so, we've got this. We've got Legend of Zelda. We've got Spider-Man. Come on, stand up, guy. Accept your fate! Thank you, sir. It's like, how... It's how often is a grapple mechanic not satisfying? I mean... Okay. Control room, here we go. Okay, Matt actually had a BC 2009 poster. Holy sh... Oh, made for Wooly. Oh, man... <laughs> God, I really do have to play that game at some point. All right. So let's start with contacting HQ. Captain Spencer, do you read me? Loud and clear, sir. I'm Agent MA2. Our intelligence tells us that the Imperials have changed the assembly line in this construction site to build something unusual. We're trying to find out what. I've uploaded the codes for this base. Proceed through the area and report back with any findings. Got it, sir. Remember, this isn't boot camp anymore. This is war, Captain. Most FSA recruits are as green as they come, and that's what gets them killed. Keep your head down and your mind sharp, soldier. It really does look like Wesker, which actually kind of came to mind earlier, given the fact that his last name is Spencer. There's some... There's something going on there that I... I'm not calling actual in-plot or in-canon shenanigans, but someone can't help but feel someone new. Uh, hair is a little bit more scraggly too, yeah. A little bit of a recession and a little bit of spikiness. Oh, man. Roger that, sir. Spencer out. Oh, man, he... Uh, Albert Wesker. Oh boy, here we go. How are we gonna do this? I mean, that, they make the first move a little more obvious. Uh, can't drop in any direction but that one. Okay, so where do we drop from here? Whoop. Hmm. Uh, okay.
And whoop, there we go, okay. I know it's still early going, but I really like these hacking puzzles. Oh boy. Private, have you fixed that problem with a track on the siege machine that I mentioned? The weak link? Yeah, I sort of repaired it, sir. What do you mean, sort of, Private? Uh, weak link? I'm okay. Hey, things. I still don't know what those are. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, man. Oh, the hell? Okay, upside down murder hydrants. Okay. And down. Uh. Wreck on the okay. Ooh. Oswald East Spencer was gonna be very similar to Sparta. Oh man. I don't know, maybe FSA issues and fallings out with command. Oh, that's worrying. Oh, oh sir, sir, you you're gonna have to stop with the being a butt. Uh uh, whatever this thing is, I don't like him because he's a butt. Oh, that's... That's not right. Uh, okay, where's he at? Oh, man. Come on, come on. Uh, Propeller droid? Don't be like that! Don't be like this... Uh, whoa. Ah. Mm, knock, knock, sucker. Ah. Not gonna get the health either. Oh. It's like, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if... Oh, God. These people with their engines. I wouldn't be entirely surprised if someone did retcon a large amount of prior continuity in some, in some of their games, but I don't... I don't see Capcom doing that, but I kind of want to see Capcom doing that now. Uh... Just go! It's like, come on, people, do it! I mean, not not with Resident Evil, but, you know... I'm sure Capcom has a franchise or two around that they can... Uh, no! Come on. Okay, and down. Up. That'd be one way to re uh, revive a dead franchise. Uh, not obviously talking about Resident Evil. I'm just saying it's like, some of these companies like they let franchises just sit there and wither on the vine. Like, what's up, Konami? How you doing, guys? There's anything you guys got. <laughs> oh, boy. Huh? Wait, I see another ledge up there. Whoop, and okay. That's gonna be a bit of a timing challenge, I think. Uh, no. Oh, uh, no! Propeller dudes! Uh. Ah, oh, that was supposed to be up. Okay. Uh. So. Yeah, the, uh, the. Putting this guy in Resident Evil would absolutely just. I can see some people writing some RE timelines and being just, just their heads catching on fire. Oh. Ah, here we go. Just wasn't one to go up. Oh boy, that's not... Huh? Because, I mean, for all the shit that some of the newer RE games get, it is a storied franchise, and people do still have respect for it. Okay, come on. Ah, there we go. Progress! What might this be? Okay. Oh. And as much as I poke the bear on the whole Konami thing, it's like... I wouldn't want them doing that to Castlevania either. Although I hear later Castlevania games started to get uh, really iffy. More than anything, I just want them to bring Castlevania back. Spencer here. I'm no closer to figuring out the Imperial's plan, sir. Damn it. 
Anyway, I got some intel for you, soldier. Not long ago, a shipment of munitions passed through here on its way to a weapons storage facility nearby. Maybe you left something useful. Keep your eyes open. Move out. Okay, one more hacking attempt. Because I know I saw one door down below decks. Oh, oh, we're getting a little more colorful. So there's down that way. There's nothing else letting me ever access this. Okay, here we go. Ooh, teleport. Okay. I see one possible descent. Wait. There's that way. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Okay, and... Oh, that doesn't... That's not right. Did I done goof? I think I might have done goofed. Oh, there we go. Ah, I actually heard the rumors Konami's uh, working on other, giving other studios a chance. Um, I saw something about that. I did not bookmark that link, and I wanted to read that article too, which is saying something too. Because I mean, them wanting to give some studios other chances on bringing stuff back, and now we have this thing with Square Enix apparently um, looking to do more remakes of their games. I forget what the name of the company was, like Forever Entertainment or something. Uh, it's like, I, th I think they might be getting whispers. Some of their back catalog might actually be respected and they might need to, to throw a couple of dollars in, that, in those directions. Especially Konami. Those pachinko machines will only last you so long. It's like, it's like I kind of want Sega to kick them in, a, in the nuts and be like, "Yeah, these are our pachinko machines now. There's, this is our this is our bit. You go back and make video games." And Konami being all like, "Fine, I will. We'll make awesome video games with blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the video games." Okay, sir. I know you were worrying about the siege engines and armor plates. I looked into it. I'm listening, Private. The armor is perfectly safe, sir. It's held in place by big, sturdy bolts. The bolts are really tightly fastened, but it doesn't matter because no one at ground level could reach them anyway. Good work, Private. No one at ground level? Hmm? Hmm. Two Silent Hill projects. That was the thing. Silent Hill caught my eye. One by a Japanese studio and one supposedly made by the dudes who made the medium. That is... That is a tad worrisome. Um, because upon release, that game pretty much completely disappeared. I have not heard anything about it. Lots of buzz. Oh, shit. That guy. Nobody loves you. Ah, uh, this deep head is the worst. <laughs> Back to the stick. Yeah, the medium, it's like... Seem like so oh no. Are oh, you douchebot? It's like so much buzz leading into the medium and then all of a sudden. Oh boy, that's not great. Oh whoosh. Oh, we we go in airborne. Uh heard it's kind of a walking simulator and and I don't this is genre. It's like, what the hell happened there? What What is that, you know? I've heard of those, several of them. I actually have a couple in my collection from, like, free giveaways and whatnot. And I'm like... Oh, no! Up. Oh. And I'm like, how did those happen? How does that, 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 that happen? Layers of fear and such. And to a lesser extent, like, uh, Outlast and Soma. I mean, they actually have gameplay mechanics. Layers of fear, I'm not I'm not sure. Oh god, that back pose. Hey, anybody home? Hey! I just hear some Yeah, that would be the sound of your inevitable defeat. <laughs> Madness and Malarkey! I'll make you eat those words, boy! 
You'll have to catch me first. Okay. Mobile armor, military armored mobile artillery. Mama. All right. Okay, probably don't need to stand on my own grenades. Or his. Okay, what's... Okay, that doesn't... Okay. Hmm. Whoop. Okay. Something about these grenades. I gotta figure that out. Okay. Ah. Okay, one moment. Kira Yamaoka. Okay. So, they got one of their dudes to actually do the soundtrack. But now we got this medium worry. I'm hoping the medium thing is a... Uh... Oh, boy, that's not great. I'm hoping the whole thing with the medium... Oh, that's not great. But um, is um, just their, their inexperience as a studio. I don't know how many games they've done. And it makes me wonder... Okay, get out out of the blast radius. I'm dead. I am. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, oh, goodness. That wrecked his... That ruined his day. Hmm? What in the world? Ah, that looks painful. Okay. Okay, so how do we go from here? Huh? Oh, that's not great. Mama! Ooh. God, how many octaves could that man's voice hit? It's like I'm lucky to get one. <laughs> he has all the octaves. It's like Freddy. Share that shit. Oh, that's not great. I have to be like right in between them. Just... Okay, come on. Come for you. Come forward, cowardly lion. Okay. Oh, no, not good. Oh, that, that's almost a safe spot. Okay. Almost a safe spot, I say. Okay. Oh. Run, sucker. Run. Okay, there's there's got to be something in this that I'm missing. I am f I'm fine with that for the moment. Ah, come on. Okay. Hmm. Don't step on my own grenades. Oh, running. Run away. Hmm. Okay, no. I know I got one, like, inside early. No, oh, not that. Not like that. Come on, game. I gotta lure him over again. Oh, boy. That cannonball's kind of nuts. Okay. Oh. I, I kind of want to finish this mission before dropping today. Uh. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Get it in there. Okay. What is the deal here then? Oh, crap. Could not descend fast enough. I'm not seeing the damage coming in, and that worries me. Okay. Am I supposed to pop the back wheel with my grenades? Okay. They usually make the weak spot fairly obvious. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, he pushes my grenades back. Something's some I'm missing something really important here. Yeah, 
And he winds up. Okay. Yeah, that pushes. He pushes the grenade. Hmm. What am I missing here? Hmm. Okay, one more attempt and then I'm out. Let's see, there's something else. Oh God, the whole soldier boy mess. Does that backpedal. I'm wondering if I could hit that with, uh, with the backpedal because I mean, he moves away at such a reverse, at a rate of reverse speed. I don't know if I'd be able to nail that, but I want to find out. Okay, see that? Oh, get right in between these. I don't want to die. Yeah, Soldier Boy, though. I mean, he's back in the news again. He's he's making himself known, for, for better or worse. So, and I may have mentioned this in a prior stream. I don't know. There was his previous effort to make some really bad knockoff emulation console things. Those kind of things. Oh, shit. Those kind of awful, awful things you see in, like... Like Chinese knockoff game consoles. And that got shuttered really fast. Yeah, Soldier Boy's still alive. And now he's got Randy Orton pissed off at him. Cause he's he's talking shit about wrestling being fake. And uh, so now there's a feud there. So I'm I'm wondering how much of this is scripted. Cause I can't help but oh, I can't help but wonder that. It's it's just a thing. Oh there, right there. That would have been that would have been prime time for that. Oh shit, I did not notice the back wheel. Running. Okay, up. Get in there. Okay, now downtown. Uh. Nah, he goes back too fast. So, yeah, they're having like a Twitter feud and apparently Soldier Boy's not the only one talking shit about wrestling, about it being super fake, but Oh god, I had I had to copy Randy Orton's response because I don't I don't care much for watching Randy Orton. What little I saw of him, he was kinda boring. But dude's jacked. Um But um Yeah, they they do some real shit in wrestling. They I mean obviously it's super scripted. I don't think anyone in their right mind would argue that, that the storylines just bunk. But and, and obviously selling injuries. I remember Diamond Dallas Page back in the day with the rib tape. I'm like, yeah, that's not how broken ribs work, but okay. Oh shit. Let's see, can I? Uh, that's not how that works. What is what is up here? Do I have to time the grenade to where it gets in there when he tilts back. But yeah, Randy Orton's response was kind of... Well, it's probably textbook Orton, but I saw it and I could not help but laugh. Okay, please don't. Where is it? Uh... Fake! Dare this prick to step up. You don't like movies? Consider us actors... Okay. Consider us actors do stunts without... Pa oh, shit. I'm sitting here talking about Randy Orton. Like, consider us actors that do stunts without pads 200 days a year and don't bitch when we get surgically repaired and come right back. Consider us 100 times tougher than anyone you come across. Ain't nothing but a bitch ass. And I'm like, wow, the testosterone is strong with this one. 100 times tougher. Really, guy? I mean, sure, he'd fold my ass in half like the dude, like that one villain in the Rocketeer, but still... <laughs> Ah, uh, I read it, and that looked like the most Randy Orton-ass thing to say. A legend killer? Oh, boy, why is that familiar? Okay. I just know him for a move called the, the RKO. It's a sort of stunner kind of move. Okay. Grenades? Bad guy grenades. Okay. And now he comes up. But yeah, those two have their little Twitter feud, which is probably, if, if I had to guess, for some 
shit on a storyline on air or something. And it's like, ah, no, 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 no. And I got bumped. And in a tip back, tip back. Damn it. I feel like I should wait until I hear his third ignition and see how that goes. Okay. Ah. Uh. See, I want to test that ignition thing. Wait. Check my surroundings. Final round. If I if I don't do anything this time, just done for the time being. Okay. Whoop. Out. Get over here with your your dad a dead tread. Oh shit. Uh, back away a little bit. Get right in there. Okay, a little too close. Nudge and whoop. Grenade and backing away. Alrighty. Oh shit. Oh, I bet I know. I bet I'm supposed to shoot that tire when he rolls back. I bet. Let's see. Because it opens that back tire up a number of different times. Okay. Oh, shit. Encoder. One moment. Also, my mouse is being a butt. Okay. Okay. Ah, that was my opportunity. Okay. I... That wheel. I think you're onto something. That wheel seems like a, a prime target. Come on. Because that's not getting anywhere in there. Ah! Can't even get in there. What the? Hmm. Can't reach the thing. Ah. Okay, something's up. That back wheel's got to be part of the puzzle. Getting to it is, is tricky. Can I get myself onto that ladder? Sadly, it does not appear so. Okay, come on. Third ignition. Ah, come on! Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I can't even... I can't even contact that thing. Damn. Hmm. Tilt back. Ah, uh, he ducks out of the way. What am I missing? What am I missing here? We got this blue headlight thing. That seems like a weak spot if ever I saw one. Huh? Oh boy. We got smokestacks, we got a blue headlight, we got that tire. We have many things that look like they could have something to do with a weakness. Do it. Hmm. Can I get over there? No. How reachable is that cannon on top? Oh? Oh! Right! Because bionic arm! Because he has a bionic arm! I got it! That is the gist of the, the game. Gotcha. Okay, moving. 
So I just got to tug on his nuts and uh, we're good. Just got to use, uh, just got to get Nate's wife to tug on this guy's nuts and we're, we're good. We're good. Oh God, there's nothing, nothing about this game. I will ever be able to look at the same again. <laughs> now, oh boy. Now he's he's full Dr. Wily because he's, he's right there. Okay, we're, I don't want to get exploded. That's that's usually a bad. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, that's not great. Down. Okay. Okay, those grenades are not great. Okay, so I can dupe the big cannonball. I gotta dodge these little grenades. Hey, what are you doing, guy? How you doing? Oh! And now for today's PSA. Wear your seatbelts, folks. Or else your giant, totally not Nazi murder machine might crash into the wrong super soldier and, you know, then it's a bad day. Leon's disc of RE2. Yes! Leon scenario. Oh, God, who is the one that I always favorite? I want to say I did uh, Claire A, Leon B. Ah, I wish they'd kept the zapping system intact in the remake. That was, that was such a good system. Regardless, uh, nut tugging and cyborg arm wives aside, it is time for me to sign off. Assuming my mouse will behave because it's being a dick. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. And the encoder is choking again. It's a thing. I need to get a new. I need. I need to do something about this setup at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and pop out. Thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. I will be back Saturday with more Robot Alchemic Drive, Sunday with Final Fantasy Dirge of Cerberus, where I finally realized what the hell I was doing where I was losing progress. Turns out I wasn't. I just... I'm just blind. <laughs> and I will see you when I see you. Take it easy, party people. Navigator EX here. Doing other things now. <laughs> I don't know. See you around, party people. Mm.